Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a bass fishing review of some of the terminal tackle I use to topwater fish. Let's check it out. Whoa, there we go. Yeah! Woo, holy cow, folks. Topwater Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Back here, look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, start water Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, start water Johnny here. Just want to welcome you to the next video here. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is talking about bass fishing and some of the terminal tackle and the things that I use to improve my chances of being successful as a top water bass fisherman. So what I'm gonna do here is just really kind of talk about different things that I think help improve my odds of catching more bass and specifically on top water. So we're gonna talk about the tools that I use, the line, I'm gonna talk about even some lures and some hooks and just different things that I use that sometimes don't always get talked about and I wanted to talk about it because most of my videos, I'm doing a lot of explanation about fishing, but I don't really talk about some of the equipment that I'm actually using. So I want to talk about that for a moment. The first thing, when you're fishing, you got to fish where the fish are. So that's the first thing. And if you're not fishing where the fish are, doesn't matter what kind of equipment that you have. So of course you can fish where you know they are, but what about new spots and new places? Well, whenever I go fishing, I'll go out to new spots, new places, and look around and check it out, but I'm not always sure that there are fish there. So one of the things that I have, and I'll show it to you right here, is the deeper. And the deeper is a sonar that actually attaches to the end of your fishing rod and can be casted out into the water. And once it's casted out into the water, you'll get a reading on your phone, just like one of the guys that's bass fishing from the boats with a sonar. This is a sonar for bank fishermen here. So it's called the Deeper. And one of the things about it that's really nice about it really is that it's nothing really on the inside of here but a little bitty USB port right here. You stick that in, you'll plug it into your actual uh, outlet and you'll just let it sit and it will charge. And as it's charging, then it will hold a charge for pretty much a full fishing trip. Now, I've, I've actually had been able to charge this and use it three different times, but this is what I use when I'm fishing a body of water that I'm not sure about or where the fish are, or even if I'm fishing a body of water where I think I know they are, but they're not hitting top water. This helps me figure out how deep they are. It also helps me figure out what the contour of the water is as well. So the deeper is definitely something that I use. It's in my tackle box in order to help me be better at fishing. Now, the next thing on there, when he talks about fishing line, there's so many different fishing lines out in the marketplace here. And for me, as a topwater fisherman, I fish in a lot of different spots. Sometimes the water and the, the, the where I'm fishing that water is abrasive, meaning that my line's rubbing against plants and rocks and different things like that. So I talked to some guys, and shout out to Moe's Fishing, because he works at Bass Pro Shop in Orlando. And what he did was he put me on to this particular product right here called Tough Line. And Tough Line is definitely, let me make sure you can see that right there. Tough Line is definitely one that's sold at Bass Pro Shop. And it's a really good line. It, it dries really quick. So in other words, when you fish it, it has a great fluid motion when it's being thrown out. But it also dries really fast. So when it gets wet, it likes to dry out really fast. And it's pretty sensitive. And I've never had any breaks with this. I always watch guys getting broken off. Here's what happened to me. I was fishing one time, caught a bass. I broke the rod, but not the tough line. And I still was able to bring the fish in. I broke the rod, but not the actual line itself. And I probably will show that footage if I have that footage, but that was crazy. So this is why I really believe in this because literally the rod broke in half, but the line held true, which allowed me to bring the fish in. So that's one thing about this 
it is really truly tough line. Another one that I got put on to from a guy, his name is Lee, and his Lee's bait shop up in the Chicagoland area. He put me on to Samurai Braid right here. It's another one right here that I really like. It's by Daiwa. And it's another one here that has eight braided weaves, super smooth surface. So this has got more of a smooth surface to it when it throws. In other words, it's slicker in its design. This one is a little bit more drier. And this one here is actually, when you look at it, let me see here. This one right here is, as you can see, a lot more shinier and a lot more slicker than the other one here. So this is a lot more slicker and shinier. Both are durable. I've got them both put on my rods right now. And I am definitely really happy with those as well. So I just wanted to share with you a couple of the lines that I'm actually using. Also, another thing is when it comes to top water, I'm using a lot of hard baits, but I also, and I still fish with soft baits as well, but because I fish with soft baits, I'm also trying to figure out exactly which type of, in other words, hooks to use. What kind of hooks should I use and which ones will be the best? Over the time here, and I'm not sure if you guys know about these, but I've been using, put that right there, I've been using Trapper. Trapper hooks, they kind of went, to me they went out of business or they changed up or switched up. But now on Bass Pro Shop, I now see them back on there now. So I'm not sure what exactly happened to them, but they're actually back now. So I use Trapper hooks for my worms and for various other lures here. Along with that, I also bought their treble hooks here. So they got treble hooks here as well. And I bought those as well, and those truly do lock down fish here. Let me show them to you up close here. This is the first one. This is the actual trapper hook. As you can see right there, that's the trapper hook right there. And that is a nice one right there. Now, and then here is a closer look at the actual treble hook for the trapper. Notice how it has that hooking motion right there, that hook to it. It's its own little signature hook style, which... Really, that groove is really what locks those fish in and makes it hard for them to throw it. Now, when you have the trapper, actually, when you have this particular one with a worm on it, this is what it looks like right here. That fits in that groove so nice right there. It really contours it well. And then once that hook is in there nicely, that is a nice, even presentation right there. And when that fish bites down, they are locked in on this hook right here. Also, I use it on some of my soft plastics as well. This is that toad I mentioned to you before that was designed by Sammy Cruz, that when he was pouring them and designing them, and it's the same hook from right here. It's the same hook right here, but it's actually inside of this particular soft plastic right here that's a toad that kicks on top, as you can see. But when they bite down, boom. There is that hook. And there are actually bigger size hooks than this for Trapper. Trapper's got some much bigger hooks. This one right here is a five, no, it's a three odd. But I've got some four odds and I've got some much bigger ones here. But this right here, when they bite down, it locks them down. And this right here is what I use actually in some of my videos to actually catch bass on top water in heavy cover with a toad. So I use those as well. Now, what I wanted to do here in the time that we had was I wanted to show you some of the terminal tackle that I'm actually using to catch fish. Now, what would it be if I didn't show you something with this particular one right here with the treble hook here? This is my Mega Bass Top Water Popper right here, Pop X. It's got the feather on the back, but notice right here on the front, I've got that treble hook by Trapper right here. And it definitely is a lockdown as well. So I have a lot of confidence when I'm fishing with this particular popper. So I've got the feather in the back. I've got a trapper up front. So I have a lot of confidence that I'm going to be able to catch quite a few fish on these. And I can say at this point that the trapper, treble hook, and the trapper singular hooks here, I have not lost very many fish at all. If I lock you in, if I lock a fish in on one of those, they're getting hooked and they're getting brought in. So I've really been excited about that. Also, another thing here that 
I want to share with you here. I'm not, as I said before, I'm not a big swim bait guy, but this one was on sale. And I thought, wow, why don't I just give it a try? And it's called the Jointed Claw. It's an actual swim bait. And it's a Japanese type of lure, of course. But it's a jointed claw. And so I ended up getting this one right here. And what would it be a video without a lure review? So I got this one right here. It's a floater. So it doesn't do the sinking like a lot of swim baits do. This one is a floater because, as I said before, I'm more of a top water guy. And I'm really not comfortable totally with the swim bait deal but i am comfortable throwing a swim bait that floats and that i can really control the motion of it so this right here is the actual lure itself right here as you can see I want to make sure everybody can see that right there and it's got a good motion to it it's jointed as well it's got a rattle in it makes a little bit of noise here as well and i'm going to learn how to throw this i've been working on it a little bit and I've been practicing, and that's all I can tell everybody. I've been practicing with it. But this is something here as a floating swim bait. That's top water for me. That's something that kind of excites me as well. So what I wanted to do here in this video was just give you a layout of the things that I'm using to fish with. What I'd love for you to do is please leave a like, a comment, a share, your thoughts about any of the materials that I've showcased here. Please go ahead, leave a like, comment, share, all those type of things here. I'm going to include some footage at the end here of me fishing with some of these pieces. In other words, the hooks and the treble hooks. I'm going to include some of that footage there just so you can see what it looks like when I'm actually fishing with it. So I'm going to throw a few little clips in here at the end. But I just want to thank everybody for checking in with me today and watching this video and this video really was about bass fishing and the terminal tackle and things I use to make top water bass fishing possible. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight, because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. All right. There we go. There we go. On the worm, man. There we go. Get some of that stuff in your mouth. There we go, everybody. There we go. You got it. You caught it. Hunting. There we go. There we go, everybody. As you can see, right there. Right there. On the trapper, on the trapper right there. So he got locked down. He hit it on the top, and we were able to lock him down. So that was good. That was a good one, man. We're on the roll. There we go. There we go. Woo! This is this is the closeout one, folks. You saw that. Saw that one. That was that's the closeout right there. Woo! On the mega bass. In the weeds, everybody. Look at that. In the weeds. And boom. Look at that. Hooked on the trapper in the front trapper hook in the front of him we got him hooked we got him hooked good everybody he is hooked really good on the trapper